Welcome to Life Coaching Comedians. Here, there's no client confidentiality because it's funny. I'm your life coach, Lexis Charday, and I have a new comedian joining us today, Trey Elliott. You've seen him as one of the hosts and comedians on Laughs on Fox and one of the stars on True TV's Laugh Mob Laugh Tracks. Sit tight while I get Trey on the line right now. Abby, you're so excited all the time. Well, hello, Trey. <laughs> What's happening? How are you doing, my dear? I am doing great. How are you? I am doing fantabulous. <laughs> <clears throat> so, it's been a while since we talked. I feel like you've been dodging me. Dodging you? Nah, why would I dodge you? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like sometimes you really want to improve yourself and sometimes you're just doing that thing that you guys do procrastinate you know I'm, I'm i'm a bit of a procrastinator at times but you know i wouldn't procrastinate with you though okay well i appreciate <laughs> you owning up to your procrastination of the course of you course. know you know i tell you all the time the first time to solving a problem and making yourself better is by owning your shit and i hey, i'm the first to own my shit I'm yeah. the first to own my shit. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You smell Accountability. That shit. You smell that shit. You own it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I smell it and I own it. <laughs> good, good for you, my friend. So tell me what's yeah. been going on in your life lately. Oh, man. A uh, little bit of everything, you know. Um, coming off of the uh, season one. Now, you want to know, when you ask me, you want to know some personal, you want to know professional. What, what do you want to know? Real quick, tell me about this uh, This season. Are you, are you working on something right now? Well, yeah, I was working on the uh, True TV show called Laugh Mob Laugh okay, Tracks. Okay, so you're we still on that? You're still on that. Yeah, we, we, we got a season two, so you're going to see me on um, on season two um, doing some things. And um, yeah, yeah, so definitely. Excuse yeah. me, that was my maid in the background. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some, you must uh, be doing well. You got a maid now? That's awesome. I mean, some, some, sometimes, you know, Craigslist, mm. you know, they, uh, <laughs> you can get them for cheap. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so, uh, so we're going to be doing season two. Um, they, what, right now, they're just in, the, you know, in the beginning stages of finding the comedians and stuff they want to use for that. So doing that, you know, uh, uh, and then uh, just audition and get ready for pilot season. You know, we're 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 right in the middle of pilot season, man. So I'm hoping for a great one. So yes, pilot season is a good season. Pilot season is the better, the best season there is, especially if you book something. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So tell me, uh, what's been bothering you lately? Um, it's okay. So bother me in what sense? Talk to me. You anything, mean bother me. Anything. I mean, when you're looking at all the areas on the life wheel mm -hmm. in your different mm -hmm. areas, where do you find that you are the um, least satisfied? Or where do you find that there's more room for improvement? Oh, okay. That's a good question. Um, what bothers me? You know what? Fake, fake. It's been a lot of fakeness around me that's been bothering me. A lot of fake people, a lot of people that aren't true to themselves, or, you know, and, and people taking up a lot of um, soaking up people's good energy to try to brighten their negative energy. But it doesn't work like that. You know, so I, I've been dealing with a lot of that lately. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm, a, I'm such a very positive guy. And uh, I bring such light to people's lives. And a lot of times, sometimes that attracts the wrong people. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and, and and they want to use your, your brightness to brighten their their lives. But at the end of the day, you, is that something you got to do from within? You know, there's mm -hmm. nothing that you can really get anybody else. You know, people can add to it, but can't nobody 
give give it to you totally if that makes any sense absolutely i mean 90 percent of people out in the world are what we call energy drainers and people like us who i think every almost every comedian out there that um even i mean comedians go through their depression phase but i feel like when comedians really know themselves and they work through their issues then it's like that's when they're the light worker and they have this amazing radiant energy and everyone wants to be a part of greatness but you have mm-hmm. to be careful about the people you were around you know yeah most be- most definitely most definitely mm-hmm. um so these negative people that you're finding around you is it just more of like an um environmental thing or is it people that are close to you in your life oh well, well it was several i mean uh environmental and people that were close you know relationship wise just got out of one of those you know what i mean um yeah, and just environmental so a little bit of both you know i, mm-hmm. I just try to keep it eliminated all you know, um, I'm not one of those comedians that I'm not a depressed comedian. You know, I'm a pretty laid back, chill guy. I have a good insight to my life and life in general. So positive outlook. So I'm not really one of those depressed guys. You know, there's times where I might get stressed or just be, you know, I have days that I'm down or be like, huh, but I don't soak into it. I'd be like, all right, Trey, let's, let's get it back together. But a lot of times I deal with people that really, you know, or, or, or sometimes people with a depressed spirit or bad energy, you know, could get into that circle sometimes. And, uh, you know, you just got to recognize it. And I just try to eliminate it, you know, as much as I can, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of times I try to help people, mm-hmm. uh, but you can't, you can't help everybody. So, no, you can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I want you to go a little bit more deeper. Just take a little bit deeper tray on the frustration. Mm-hmm. So, you're saying you're frustrated because you're finding these fake mofos and these people <laughs> that are draining your energy. Um, or trying, trying, trying to, to drain, drain your I don't, energy. Okay. You, you, right, right, right. Sometimes you'll you'll waste some time dealing with certain people. Absolutely. So are you are you are you frustrated because you're having a hard time getting away from them, or do you feel like they're just constantly being attracted to you? Um, uh, I don't have no problem getting them away. Sometimes, yeah, just the fact that I may have entertained it for a certain amount of time, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I didn't eliminate it soon enough. Um, you know, that, that, that kind of situation, you know okay. what I mean? So that's, you know, so sometimes that's frustrating to myself amongst a lot of other things that we deal with when it comes to this Los Angeles and it, it LA could be a, a frustrating place, period. You know, okay. if you just don't, if you just don't have a game plan or have a sense of self mm-hmm. you know so besides me um who else do you seek to spend time with on the daily basis that is either um someone that you can seek to as mentorship or someone that is on a higher level or maybe more successful than you they say if you want to be a millionaire hang out with billionaires right so are that's you, what they say are, do you have that circle are you working on that circle uh, well I, my circle always um uh, i always keep a dope good circle around me um i have i have millionaires around me all the time um you know um i have great friends great um artists friends that are artists that are in the industry that are doing very well I have a good, I have a good, close, tight knit circle of successful people and people on the rise and talented people. So that's who basically I'm around the majority of the time. And are you talking you know, to those people, people every day? Damn there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. good. Yeah, got to, got to. Yeah. But just because somebody, you know, uh, and I, I even take the money aspect away mm-hmm. from it, you know, because it's more so about the attitude and 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 the kind of person you are, you know, because I know some Absolutely. millionaires that aren't good people. Absolutely. You I know. was just using that as an example. but No, like, I get it. Yeah, if I you want to be a nah, positive nah. person and you want to attract goodness into your life, like, you know, you should have, like, t- five different Tony Robbins in your life. Like, five Tony Robbins and two Gary Vs and... Yeah, know, it's real. 
as real. many That's as you real. can get. I mean, yeah, but hey, the money don't hurt though. The money damn sure don't hurt. Well, if you're being positive, the money just flows. You know, <laughs> if you're passionate and you're happy, the finance flows. All yeah, right. I agree. So, what else is going right. on? What's up? Tell me about this relationship that ended. Uh huh. What What you want to know about that? Well, you, I mean, <laughs> Yo, you know, <clears throat> you said it just ended. Right. So, was there some heartbreak going on? How are you feeling? How's your soul? How's your heart? All that is good, you know. All that is, you know, we're we're good. We're we're amazing. We 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 moving. Wasn't really no no heartbreak, you know. Sometimes things just don't just don't work out. I talk and I talk about it, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm on stage now. I've been doing a lot of shows lately because I got a lot of new material that I'm putting out there, and uh, so a lot of my new material um, is focusing on uh, on the breakup, you know, because my, my a lot of my mm-hmm. stage materials is, is focused on my real life, so. Um, so I just got, it talks about how I just got out of my relationship with my millionaire girlfriend for four years. And that's why I put up sugar baby. No, so, no, nah, nah, she wasn't old. She was, she no, was you were the sugar older. baby. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, not really, you know, <laughs> and, and all that is the kind of stuff that I, that, you know, that I'm, I'm working on and talking about, man, you know? So, um, yeah, but no, nah, it was cool, man. Good, cool. Four years. Mm-hmm. four years but you know the last the last three three months was you know just ended up being some some bullshit so you know it is what it is we, tell we me keep more about the, the bullshit oh man just you know just you know yeah you gotta wait till the book come out <laughs> or nah but just more so just just not you know not truthful not truthful stuff you know just people not being themselves or being true you know what I mean? Which is why I say God eliminate a lot of fake people. So you did you get mean? caught in a lie, Trey? Mm-mm, nah, nah, I was good. I behaved. I behaved. She did, not me. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, she did. Not not Trey Elliott, you know. Mm-hmm. Not saying that I haven't lied in the past to people, but in this one, I was I was pretty I was pretty solid, you know. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And was it um mm-hmm. like a little white lie? Or was it a big deal? Was it a bunch of little white lies? Bunch of bunch of a bunch of, mm-hmm. but you know, but the but a big one, you know, you know, more so with infidelity type of shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. know, but you add that on with a bunch of little white lies, then you know, you just just you know better just to not deal with it you know absolutely absolutely yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Hmm. would you consider yourself a monogamous person i can be okay i can be and i and i it depends on on the situation Mm -hmm. i mean i don't have no problem being monogamous i don't have no problem being with one person uh but if i'm single and and uh don't and don't have a um haven't had that conversation with that person about a commitment or whatever, then I can have mm-hmm. several, you know, I'm mm-hmm. a very friendly guy. So I, I can date on my dating. I could date multiple people, but if I have a conversation or I make, I mind being committed to one person as well. So mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I haven't cheated in the past. Yeah. I've damn sure cheated. Definitely cheated myself in the past, but Did I don't you have hear no that ladies. Being. He's friendly. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely friendly. And uh, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but um, yeah, man. I just, I just like to have fun. I, I like to have fun. I like to have good people around me and just, just have fun, especially with women. Women with good energy, good sense of humor that can make me laugh, and uh, just, just you know, um, yeah, that's what I like. I like women too. You know, sometimes. I, sometimes, well, you, you, you're one, so you should. Well, I yeah, like, I like for my woman to have me, a. So a me. You love you some you, mm-hmm. yeah. I like for my women to have a few bad habits, like, like I like you know I drink. I'm a social drinker, so I like women that you know don't mind sipping a little something. Do they um, have to drink what you, know. you like to drink? No, 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 no. What do like you drink like to drink? I'm a Scotch man. I like mm. Scotch. Single yeah. malt. Single malt. There you go. Come on, what you know about that? You just look like a single malt type of guy. Real classy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I you know, I have, I have a lot of classy, um, 
classy traits, classy ways about myself. I can I can be both stuff. I can be both. I mean, yeah, single love, malt love millionaire girlfriends. I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> I was drinking scotch before that, though. I was drinking scotch way saying, before clearly that. Clearly, you have a lifestyle that you enjoy. Do you well, yeah, smoke yeah, cigars while I, you I, drink those single malt I, scotches? I smoke cigars. See, I got you figured I, out. I, I, yeah, I, I love cigars. Um, that's that's one of my leisure. So I smoke cigars maybe at least maybe twice a week, twice sometimes three times a week. So, so are you saying drinking is a bad habit when you talk about liking women that have bad habits? What other bad habits are you talking about there? When I well when I say bad habits, I mean like a cool bad habit. You know what I mean? Like oh okay, because some women be like, oh I don't drink. I'd be like, oh you about to be boring as shit. <laughs> um, but I'm, I've I've dealt with women that don't drink, but are real cool too. So, mm-hmm. but you know when I when I'm at the bar sipping something, I, I like to see the person I'm with sipping a little something as well, man. It just makes it more fun in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so you know, so that's a bad, a good bad habit. I mean, other than that. When I say that, that's what I mean, you know. Um, but I like a woman that's very secure with herself, you know. Not I don't like a prude chick. I like a prick that's, you know, open with her sexuality and, and comfortable with her sexuality as well. You know what so I mean? A Which is not in a the bad habit. street and a freak in the sheets, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. She can. Hey, hey, hey. She can. Uh, or a lady in the streets, freak and shit. She mm. can be a freak in the streets too. We can do that. We can. We can. We can get down in the streets. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Everything don't got to be in the sheets. I feel like this therapy session turned into like you trying to help, like you asking me to help you find the perfect woman. Like I'm kind of taking notes here. I mean, listen, I don't have any <sighs> problem. I mean, I'm trying to think me, if maybe I have another client that you would work well with. Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's Cupid you- season. Oh, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what else? What's going on? What else is going on in the world of Mr. Elliot? Man, that's about it, man. I'm just focused right now. I'm focused mm-hmm. on um, career. Um, I just had this conversation with a good friend of mine. Um, it's just about being out here, being the best you could be out here, and just and just being unstoppable and being undeniable so people can't tell you no you know we deal with a lot of rejection out here in this industry and things of that nature so i'm just focused more on just being the best comedian i could be um i'm pretty dope but you know i I I just want to just continue yeah i I just want to continue just to grow and grow and grow Mm -hmm. keep growing keep growing so that's 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 what i'm just focused on right now you know just Focus, 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 focus. Mm-hmm. You know, I tried out for America's Got Talent, and uh, the producer sorted out my footage and wanted me to audition. I had just got my rejection email today that, that they didn't advance me. And I wasn't down about it, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to just work that much harder. How so, often do, do they that. even have comedic acts on that? I feel like it's usually like they singing do. and dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they do, but, you know, you be going to go going up against motherfuckers with no hands that play the piano and the piccolo and all type mm-hmm. of shit so it's just kind of like ah, you know what I mean so mm-hmm. it's just not strictly based off of off of um, comedy then you gotta have like a good ass backstory so if I you know you, you know but um, yeah man but rejection is a part of the game and I just use it as more motivation and more uh, and, and fuel just to add to my fire to make sure that I'm kicking ass every time I'm even in the audition room or on stage and just doing whatever, so. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. How's your health? Health is good, man. I'm in the gym four days a week. I have, I've been in a little transition because I've been moving around and, and doing other things, but I, I, I'm usually in the gym four to five days a week. Oh, you so. know what? I've been meaning to talk to you about that, Trey. I've What's been I've noticing that you've been going to the gym at night. Yo, I'm not a morning guy. I'm not the one that gets up five in the morning to go to the gym to work out. When do you out. usually I'm start not... your day? Like my day starts eight eight. I'm I usually I'm usually up by eight eight thirty in the morning. And then when do you have to be somewhere? At like nine thirty. Nine thirty. Okay. 10. So you can't wake up at seven thirty. 
Mm -mm. No. Because I don't go to bed till two or three. Why? Because you're on stage late? Working. Or you're with you know, those freaky socialize. ladies in the streets. A little bit of both. Mmm, priorities. A little bit of both. You know, I'm I'm at a comedy club or I'm somewhere smoking a cigar, net networking. I'm a huge networker, so mm -hmm. you know, so I gotta keep that going. So so I try to get my gym in at night, you know. You know the reason why I'm against people working out at night? Why? Because it makes your stress levels, your stress hormones release late in the evening. So then you have a hard time going to sleep in your stress levels. Your cortisol, your adrenaline is all running when you're trying to sleep. So you're not getting good mm. sleep. And then mm. when you're getting ready to wake up, all of your relaxing hormones start to release in the morning, which is why you're not a morning person because your hormone levels are off. So, mm. if you start so you recommend that should work out in the morning. Mm-hmm. It gives you the right start. We're we're supposed to be morning people, Trey. We're supposed to wake up once the sun comes up and sing kumbaya and praise mm -hmm. the Lord, praise Allah. Mm -hmm. The whoever, universe, whoever, whoever praise you're praising and just like golly old BG, it's another day and I'm alive. Mm -hmm. But the staying up late, the caffeine, the doing active things late at night, all those things, they make us disconnect from the world, the earth, and the archaic rhythm. And even though we're comedians and we have late night shows, we can still stay up a little late, you know, get our show in. And then be able to go home and go to sleep if we're not doing too much of the, as Mr. Trey Elliott calls them, bad habits. Or too mm -hmm. much networking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. I, There's more, a fine what, line between networking and partying, Trey. There's a fine line. I'm not, I, yeah, I do more networking than partying. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm very laid back. So you don't really catch me at the clubs or nothing like that. You know, what Just I Just like because do... you're not at a club does not make it not partying. So what's your definition of partying? Staying up past your bedtime. Nah, mm -hmm. that ain't party. I party, party in my living room beach. every Wednesday night with a good oh, bottle of wine. Yes. Well, then that's a, that's a, I consider that a party because we, we got alcohol in law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And some music, right? Mm hmm. No, it ain't no party. If, if, music ain't, if music ain't there, it ain't no party. Okay. Not even. What if you're watching a movie? Nah, that ain't no party. Smoking a cigar? That ain't no party. Okay. And we can have different concepts of what partying means. That's fine. Exactly. But my point is. <clears throat> I want you to have healthy hormones because you know what happens when your cortisol starts getting too high and out of whack? You know what happens to men, Trey? They can't get an erection. Well, that can happen down the line. But, <laughs> what happens? Um, then they start to develop estrogen. And you know what happens mm. when men get estrogen? They grow titties. Yes. Do you want titties, Trey? No, thank you. You don't look like you. I'll leave that. I'll leave that up to y'all. So. Okay, that's good to want, know. That's good to know. I just want that to give you something to think about. You know. That's good to know. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to make myself start working out in the mornings. And get just, up an hour and early. And just try this. Try this, Trey. If you still want to work out at night, just focus on the resistance training. Okay. Because it's not as hard on your body. So just lift weights. Don't do any cardio. And then on the days that you're going to try working working out in the morning, try doing do cardio to get your heart rate pumping, get that cortisol pumping, that adrenaline pumping, and see how it affects your day. Okay. And eventually, you'll start to like it. Your body will adjust, and you'll see how m much more productivity you have throughout the day. And then you'll probably switch completely to mornings. 
It just takes a while for the body to adjust. I'm down for that. What do you eat? What, what sh when do you eat your first meal of the day? It depends. Sometimes I eat breakfast, sometimes I won't. So sometimes I eat uh, well, my first I meal like Notice I didn't say breakfast. I just said when do you eat your first meal? It could be 10 o'clock. It could be 2 o'clock. And what do you usually eat? Mm, oatmeal if I do breakfast. Um, and like a turkey turkey burger or something for lunch or fish for lunch. It, it varies. It depends. What do you put Sometimes in your I have oatmeal? Nothing. You eat it plain? Well, it comes with cranberries and raisins and dates and all that shit and walnuts so and everything. Sugar. There. No, I get I get this oatmeal. It's protein oatmeal, so it don't have a lot of sugar in it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> I'm glad that you're you're taking this challenge. So I want you to try at least if you're working out four days a week. Let's try doing two days a week cardio in the morning. Just 30, 20 to 30 minutes. That's it. Okay? See okay. how it affects your day. And then I don't care when you eat your first meal. Your first meal is always called, is actually breakfast because it's when you're breaking your fast. So whether it's 9 a.m. or 3 p.m. in the afternoon, it's your breakfast. And when you have your first meal tray, I want to make sure that you're having some sort of healthy fat to help you have more stable energy throughout the day and see how you feel. So give me a good example of a healthy fat. So healthy fats are going to be, so for example, do you like peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Putting a spoonful of peanut butter in your oatmeal or almond butter or putting nuts in your oatmeal using actual butter but grass-fed butter not that crazy stuff at the grocery store grass-fed butter those are healthy fats coconut oil avocado salmon halibut those are high in omega-3 fats and uh, like dairy full fat dairy and eggs those are going to be your healthy I fats. love eggs I love eggs too so if you're gonna get cheese or yogurt or any of that stuff make sure you're not getting that bullshit low fat crap get the full fat stuff okay okay so I'm gonna give you those two challenges focusing a little bit more I on that health and nutrition okay and um I accept you think you can do that for like a month or so. Yeah, 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 that's no problem. Yeah, and then next time we chit chat, I'll I'll see how you're feeling. Who knows? You might be like the the new guy that's at the the gym at five a.m. every day. Mm, I want to. I want to be that guy. So see there, I'm helping you. Yeah. God, I'm good at my job. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get my six pack all the way back. Mm. Men are lucky because you have what's called testosterone on your side. But as long as you're not messing up your cortisol levels, you'll be fine. Okay. So, because otherwise you'll be one of those guys when you're like older in your late 40s or 50s and you have to go to the doctor and get testosterone shots in your butt cheeks. Mm -mm. You don't want to be that guy. No, we don't. Mm-hmm. Good. I am so proud of you, Trey. Well, you, thank you are just such a delight, such a positive young man, and definitely focusing on your career and, you know, single and ready to mingle and just loving yourself. There's nothing wrong with a little self love. Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, let's just work on you being a little bit healthier, better energy. Because if your main focus is your career, if you're really focused on feeling healthy and making sure your body is right, then that just opens up a whole new door mentally, you know? Right. And you already have a lot of energy, but who doesn't want more energy? Right. I agree. And so I feel like with those two challenges, it'll be really interesting how it takes your comedic game to the next level. 
Let's do it. I'm all for it. And then you'll be the sugar daddy and not the sugar baby. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Can find you a bunch of little... Uh, I saw this meme not too long ago. and it, <laughs> I feel like you would like this. It says, I like my woman like I like my scotch. 19 years old and full of coke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the coke part, but uh <laughs> Well you're not ingesting mm-hmm. the drug, they are. <laughs> right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. That was such That's a good funny. one. That was a real knee slapper. That's funny, though. Nah, that is funny though. <clears throat> now I don't condone recreational drug use, you know that. Mm. The little mm. alcohol's okay. Every every now and again, right? Yeah. So tell us before we go, when does the new season come out? Do you know an air date yet? We don't have an air date. We don't know. They haven't even started filming it yet. So, but right now oh, you can still watch. Oh, just got scheduled to start viewing it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But right now you can watch the reruns on True TV. I think on Thursday nights at like eleven, ten or eleven. Okay. So. True TV Thursday nights at eleven. Mm-hmm. And it's not mm-hmm. um that's the only place you can see it right now. Yeah, and online, you know, on True TV app or whatever the case may be. So True TV Thursdays at eleven. I'm putting it in my schedule. Either, it's either ten or eleven. So or this, 11. you know. Okay. Ooh, that sounds like such a good thing to do tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to come to Arizona to check you out. Yes, I cannot wait to have you. Arizona's great. And this is the perfect time to come. I know Los Angeles is, you know, the weather is great in the wintertime, but Arizona's winter is just a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll come to check you. Yeah. I- I'll let you sip a little scotch with me. Oh, absolutely. You know, there's a couple of really great scotch and whiskey bars out here. I'll say no more. I'll show you my city. Yeah, I'm down. All right, my dear. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And uh, I will be scheduling you for another session in a month. And we're going to see okay. how well you've improved your health and fitness and just how much more amazing you are. Sounds like a plan. All right. You have a lovely evening. You too. Thank you for listening to Life Coaching Comedians. Get in touch with Trey on our website at www.lifecoachingcomedians.com. And be sure to check him out on Laughs on Fox and also True TV's Laugh Mob Laugh Tracks. Don't forget to come back next week where I'll be diving in deep with another comedian. Because on Thursdays, we do therapy. Therapy Thursdays. Until next time.